Welcome back. The weather is getting colder, but the high school football season, Chris, it's heating up. It sure is, and we've got 11 Kern County teams in the playoffs still, and we'll run you through those games right now. And just a reminder that all of those games but one are happening tonight in observance of Veterans Day. So let's get to them. This is the Division I playoffs, and Kern's highest-ranked team returns to the field in Division I, the number three Liberty Patriots taking on St. Joseph at home. The bar is high for Liberty after a Valley Championship and a berth in the state title game last season. Continue to talk about building on it, and, and they've stacked game and game and game together. And To repeat, they'll have to get through St. Joseph of Santa Maria, a dominant force of their own, coming off a steamrolling of Clovis East in the first round. Well, Chris, Division Two, two Kern County teams still kicking. The lone game tomorrow, BCHS heads to Hanford for the 4-5 matchup. And tonight, seventh-seeded Frontier visits number two, Kingsburg. Hanford hung 84 points on Ridgeview last week. It was a different story for BCHS. The Eagles escaping with a one-point win over 12th-seeded Edison. The overtime thriller ending with maybe the call of the year. Down seven, brothers Darren and David Carr emptied the playbook. Some trickery ensued as Jordan Delgado found Dylan Johnson, who launched the double pass to Chase Furtado. The two-pointer sealed the deal moments later. Um, we we, we got to get better, so it doesn't really have to do much with Hanford. They're a good football team, but we got to get better first. But the Eagles and the Frontier Titans, who are taking on 9 and 1 Kingsburg, might have uphill battles this week. They're still alive. That's the, that's, the, that's the goal. I mean, that's the key. Kids played well, kids played hard, so I'm really proud of our guys. We played physical. Well, three of four Division Three games have area teams as well. The fourth-ranked Kennedy Thunderbirds host number five, Kerman. Number three, Tehachapi hosting 11, Sunnyside, and number 15, Independence. Could be another Cinderella story. It takes on seven, Mission Oak. Independence has found themselves back in our spotlight after a massive 21-point upset over second-seeded Porterville, a team many saw as a powerhouse. It's reminiscent of last year's Falcon squad, which puttered through a 4-6 and six regular season before exploding to win a Valley title. And the magic in the mountains continues for Tehachapi, the Warriors seeking a Cinderella run of their own. You know, we're just built for games like this in these kind of conditions, and playing with the lead certainly helps. We can just grind out those long drives on the ground. Well, two down, three to go. A thinned out Division Four sees a trio of Kern County teams taking the field. Number eight, Shafter, faced top seeded Liberty out of Madera. And coming off an upset of Wasco, the 12 seeded North Stars, Ed De Torres. And number two, Tap, hosts number seven, Colinga. Last week's matchup against South was probably closer than the Wildcats would have liked, but Taft has now won five straight and will host games at least through the semifinals if they get there. Kalinga, a league winner, will be one of Taft's toughest tests all year. On the other side of the bracket, 15-year-old freshman quarterback Ezekiel Osborne will once again rely on his stout offensive line as the young gunslinger tries to lead his generals past an undefeated Hawks team. It was good to win our first playoff game, and we're just focused on now going down the line and winning the next few games, too. Well, one place you won't see any Kern County teams, Division 5, and that's because every area team, all three of them, lost their first round matchups last week. The Delano West and Golden Valley all saw their seasons come to an end. Taylor. And finally, Chris, a pair of teams in Division 6 to round out the action. Ninth ranked Kern Valley heads to top seeded Hanford West and they'll host and number four Arvin will host number five Avenal. Now Chris I know you have something interesting on those Arvin Bears. You know Arvin has not won two playoff games in the same season in decades. This could be another season to make history for them. Uh, it's exciting. The second round of the 2022 high school football playoffs begin tonight at 7 p.m. 